Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another team building guide of Dokkan Battle. We're talking today about the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, the LR variant, Blazing Love and Burning Justice. Now, uh, this is a pretty awesome unit. Now, we're not going to really talk about what super teams to run with them as leaders. It's kind of like whatever super teams you have, just run. You're going to need one of every attribute type on the team if you're running them as a leader. If not, if you're running them as support, then you don't need to worry about that and just run them as support. They are a fantastic LR to add to any super team. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about them. This is going to be a shorter video. I'm, I'm going to assume like seven minutes uh, because there's not that many. There's not that much for linking I can really talk about. And they're only part of one category. Uh, Blazing Love and Burning Justice, Great Saiyan 1 and 2. Leader ability, super type allies, HP attack and defense was 100% when team includes all five, five super types. Now, that is no key. That means you're not getting any key between any of them. Now, the, the, the thing is there, usually you don't have any problems with that. Most of the good super units have, like, prepared for battle or over in a flash. Like, if you bring that, they'll probably be really decent for a Super Saiyan 3 team. Because Super Saiyan 3, most of them have over in a flash or a, f a fusion team, uh, like Gogeta. Uh, like, Finger Fusion, because they all have over in a flash. Uh, that way you get the three additional key just from that alone. Uh, plus the other stuff, like most of them are Saiyans will have prepared for battle. Some of them will have shocking speed, which will definitely be a benefit as well. So keep that in mind when doing your team building. You're definitely going to want to find units that have good key support for each other. On top of that, you could always run other support units well, as well. I mean, if you're running uh, with one Great Saiyan Man as a support unit, then you're fine because you're probably going to have a double key. The other thing to keep in mind, if you're running them as a leader, is probably because you don't have the Vegito Blue, the, uh, the, the Technique Vegito Blue. Now, me and myself, I don't have him. So, and that's, that's purposely because I liked Rose and I like my villains team better. So I am definitely going to be utilizing this Great Saiyan Man on events that require supers teams or just for fun because i would really like that you know to have a good super team and uh bringing in lr follow funding a tech vegeto blue friend and running this as a leader is definitely gonna be a way for me to do that and i have some really good units that I, could, that I could do that with now uh keep in mind if i'm running him i'm gonna need some other key support as well there are some other good units that do key plus two attack plus blah 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 or attack and defense plus blah 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 for certain you or for super units or just for all units in general so you have a huge choice between um between them uh, actually i'll probably i'll bring that up as well uh when i'm doing the team building guide i'll just have to go onto the wiki and fi figure that out so uh, super attack twin justice rush 12 to 17 key and burning justice 18 plus key so twin justice rushes causes colossal damage to the enemy and seal super attack burning justice is mega colossal damage to the enemy and raises super attack allies attack by 30 percent for two turns so that means they're going to be really good on support off primary rotation because they're going to be able to raise allies attack by 30% for two turns, uh, which means the following turn your allies will have a buff. Now you can run them in your primary slot and give like, what is that? If uh, if you give them what the full, the next two units, um, an attack increase plus the following round, that would be kind of beneficial, especially if you're running a double great Saiyan man lead. The problem with that is guys, just keep in mind, if you're running a double lead and you have two of them on there, or even if you're not, if, you, uh, if you're running Vegito Blue, they're on your team and you bring a friend, uh, just remember, Mega Colossal Damage, they don't have anything special to help them increase their key. So you're not going to be able to get that 18 off a lot as easy as you thought. Um, their passive skill definitely comes in handy with that, though. Uh, victory of Justice, of Love and Justice. Um, super class allies, key plus 4, defense plus 50%. So they're going to be tanking very well, and they're automatically going to have 4 key. If you're running them on any type of super team without them as a leader, and they have like a, a double 3 key lead, you're almost guaranteed to get a super attack off, because chances are you're going to have um, some type of a key link, and then plus key plus 4. So if you have like prepared for battle across the board, plus this, then you're going to have super attack t uh, 12. So you're definitely going to get a super attack off. They're very, very beneficial for super type LRs. Uh, defense plus 50% is also really good. Extreme class enemies defense minus 70% is actually really freaking good. Uh, a lot of enemies have really high defense. Uh, I'm looking at the Broly uh, on the Broly events, even the Technique Broly event, uh, the Super Saiyan 3 one. Jesus, all, all three of them, the, the, the defense level is so high. I mean, granted, the, the Super Saiyan 3 one also has damage reduction, but uh, this guy will make that Broly event so much easier, especially for you new guys who are, who are just coming out. Getting this guy to LR, I did do a video on that. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and do it. It's uh, the uh, SR to LR guide. Uh, plus, how, it's like how to get the Great Saiyan Man and SR to LR guide, something like that. So go ahead, check that out. It'll be linked at the, the end of this video. Um, link skills are Hero of Justice Patrol, Signature Pose, In Fighter, uh, Supreme Power, Shattering Limit, and Legendary Power. Now, honestly, he's he doesn't have that many good link skills. Uh, Hero of Justice, not that many people have. I'll show you. I'll bring that up so you can take a look at that. Uh, signature uh, In Fighters is only other good attack link. Everything else is flat up buff between Supreme Power and Legendary Power. They're both just uh, flat up buffs. Legendary Power, all these 5,000 is a little bit better, but there's really nothing else. You have Signature Patrol, uh, Pose, Patrol, and Shattering the Limit. Um, 
Shattering Limb is probably going to be his only good key, Link. So, yeah, he's kind of shitty at the links. Uh, for his Hero of Justice, you have... Uh, he might be good Universe Survival Saga. Well, not, not the team specifically, but running on a super team, you could run them, and he's going to have that buff. Uh, this Great Saiyan Man, by the way, spoilers for like the next five minutes. This is going to be his best linking buddy in game. Is this the regular Great Saiyan Man? I think this is the yeah, this is the Baba Shop one. Uh, so that's pretty. That that's where that's at. Um, you also have Jiren who has it. So I mean, it's not like he has units that are that aren't good. It's just running them on a team is going to be a little bit limited if you're looking to link him with it. The thing is though, if you do run a tournament, not a tournament, a power team. I guess you could run a tournament, a power team. He just won't get the buffs. But if you're running like a super team with a double LR Vegito lead and you have uh, two tournament of power guys and this guy comes in or at least one of them, he will at least hit that off for you. So Jiren will get that or um, Dispo will get that. But uh, yeah, not not that not that great. Um, categories is Majin Buu Saga. That's all he's available for is Majin Buu Saga, which is cool because you do have some good units in that team. Um, let's see over here. Max stats is HP of 14,034, attack of 10,280, defense of 10,183. That's actually not that bad. Um, max stats with out dupe system is 16,000, 12, 2, and, or actually almost 12, 3, and 12, 2 for defense. And on, with all four dupe pads unlocked, fully maxed out, HP is almost 20,000, 19, 4. Attack is 15, 3 almost, and defense is about almost 15,000. So he has some pretty damn nice stats. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to recommend getting him Rainbow. I mean, he's a free-to-play LR. I like the Great Sand Man 1 and 2. But I gave them full additional attacks in the dupe system, by the way. Uh, so if you guys are wondering, I did say that in the other video. And the reason why I did that uh, was because of their Colossal Damage and the Mega Colossal Damage. If you get off a of Mega Colossal Damage, you're going to increase the uh, Super Allies by 30% for two turns. Now, if you get another super attack it's not going to be mega colossal it's going to be just colossal so that means you're going to seal them seal the enemy so so you get an attack buff for your allies and then you seal the enemy assuming they could be sealed i think that's a no-brainer in my opinion because if you get a double super attack it just makes it that much more viable plus they have the additionals built in so you have a full level 20 additional I think that's worth it. Just my opinion. If that's not what you guys are going for, then, you know, let me know what you guys did in the dupe system down in the comments below. But I did full additional because of that reason. At first, I did it because I was like, oh, cool, double super attack. Then I was like, oh, wait a second, that's mega colossal. So uh, my mistake turned out to still be a benefit. <laughs> uh, 12 key multipliers, 150%. 24 key multipliers, 200%. Uh, maximum super attack level is 20, which increases super attack multiplier by additional 30%. Leader info, you pretty much need to have one, yeah, you, you need to have, not pretty much, you need to have one super, one super attack, one super agility, one super int, one super strength, and one super physical. Um, they count as a super physical, by the way. Uh, you will receive the boost, meaning the unit needs to be at least Z awakened. So they need to be a Z awakened if you're using an SSR unit. So they need to be Z awakened. TURs, you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, uh, awesome unit, really good, nice, it's an overall really good, high-powered LR support unit. Now, I think that's what they're going to be doing moving forward. I mean, this is just for super types. Now, I, I can see them because, per, look, think, think of it like this, they already did the key plus four leaders for all the LRs. I can see them doing key plus four or five for LR lead, for LR support units now. I mean, they already did the leaders, so that, that and logically, that's what, that makes sense. I mean, they could also do category support with LRs, but I mean, I feel like they would do the uh, the mono team. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But yes, there you go. You have the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. In terms of best linking buddies, the best one in game is the Great Saiyan Man from the Baba Shop. So uh, you go ahead, you can grab him. He has Patrol, Hero of Justice, and Sh uh, Signature Post, Shattering Limit. So he has six key and 25% attack buff. Just the two of them to link together, they get 12 key off. So this guy's always going to be super attacking. Uh, and then their four key support, they're going to have an additional four. So you only need two more key uh, in order for them to get off their ultra super attack. So those two are very, very useful. In terms of this guy's passive, he does agility type key plus two, a, a great chance of attack and defense plus 30%. So he's a support unit. For agility now obviously you're not going to run him uh, primarily alongside of the great Saiyan man i'm just saying you can if you're looking to just like for the best to make sure this guy's getting off all of his supers all the time because you want to do some type of calculation with or whatever uh this is probably going to be a good way to make sure you're always getting super attacks off or just if you like them to get their super attacks off the next one is going to be the hercule which is Shattering the Limit, Legendary Power, Supreme Power. So he, it's because he has that Majin Buu Saga stuff and Shattering Limit, so I don't think he's that great. The other was very interesting to me is the Physical Raccoon, the free-to-play one, but that's probably just because he has Signature Pose and Shattering the Limit and Infighter. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, ob well, obviously, no crap. But uh, it's, it's honestly probably just because of that Signature Pose. If he didn't have Signature Pose, he would not be on this list. So that's he does link with him, which is very funny. Uh, unfortunately, no Hero Justice, but the Infighter does make him uh, at least get a 10% attack buff with 4 key. Uh, but yeah, that's his best linking buddies in game. Nothing really, you know, 
groundbreaking. I mean, we could drop this down to two, but then there's just way too many freaking units here, so we're not going to even bother doing that. We're going to go ahead and talk about two key on the other stuff. So this is for mono physical two or more. Uh, we don't have the LR Ginyu on the JP side, but the JP side does have him. So you, he does link for two. Again, signature pose with the LR Ginyu. LR Trunks, he has two link skills with. Shattering Limit, Legendary Power. Obviously, it makes sense. LRs are going to always share Legendary Power, so it's just need, they need one other link skill that this guy would have. Uh, you do have the Majin Buu Saga category Gohan who has Hero of Justice and Shining Limit. He's actually, I think this is the Great Saiyan Man Super Saiyan 2 that he links with, and this guy's a tech plus 90% of the start of the turn, so this one might be kind of worth it. I wish that they had more link skills, but it's just Hero of Justice and Shining Limit, so that's too key. But it's all right, because that means that this one will at least always be getting super attacks off, and this one will always at least get a colossal damage super attack off because of his passive. Uh, again, Raccoon is still here. So these two, honestly, for mono physical team, these two will probably be really good if you're trying to run this guy on your primary rotation. Uh, it's just I don't recommend it because you don't need him there. You would better be better off with other units. But these two are probably going to be really good linking buddies because 25% attack buff, really awesome. His 90% attack and then just him being an LR with the Mega Colossal damage, fantastic. Um, and then last but not least, Majin Buu Saga category. We already talked about the Great Saiyan, man. We talked about this Hercule. Everyone else is too key. You see over here, everyone else is there. Uh, we'll throw this Gohan up here because we're well, the Great Saiyan man too, technically, because he's there. We already talked about the LRs. I think they have Infighter together. Uh, Shattering the Limit. So they have Shattering the Limit. And then everyone else is over here. I mean, we have another LR here and another LR here. So it's the two. It's the Goku and the Majin Vegeta. Obviously, these three all have Legendary Power. So it's really just one other thing. So they have Supreme Power, and this guy is what? Is he Supreme Power of the Majin Vegeta? Uh, Shattering the Limit. So it's really just like, and the, the Hercule over the TUR variant, we don't even need to consider him. So you have the Super Saiyan Goku over here, which has Shattering Limit, Supreme Power. Uh, Majin Vegeta, which is Shattering Limit, Supreme Power. And this Super Saiyan Goku over here, which is In Fighter and Shattering the Limit. The Super Saiyan 2 Goku, I'm sorry. So I don't even think you would run the Super Saiyan 2 Goku because he's tech and strength type, so he's not going to even benefit you. Majin Vegeta is so old, he does do mass damage, which means he does attack everyone, but it's only like attack plus 40% on his passive, and uh, so you're probably never going to run him. Attack plus 50% at the start of the turn, I'm sorry. Um, and for two key links, what is it, uh, or two link skills, Shattering Limit uh, and Supreme Power, not really worth it unless you're taking on, I think it's the Majin Buu event. And the same thing with this Goku over here, the Super Saiyan Goku, attacking defense plus 10% per every key orb obtained. You need a key orb manipulator just to make him somewhat viable. Uh, so honestly, he really doesn't have that many good linking buddies. In game, he, yeah, it really kind of sucks. I mean, I think the, the Great Saiyan Man here would probably be the only one that I would say links very well with him. Outside of that, um... Not so much, because everyone here, while they have legendary power, like, these two, the Goten and Trunks and the Majin Vegeta, do share one link skill with them. But Majin Vegeta doesn't get the buff from his support, from his passive. So, I mean, like, we just go over here and take the extreme out because of that. You lose both Majin Vegetas. So, I, at this point, the only thing that's going to be super beneficial to this guy is either the LR Goten and Trunks, because they actually give him two key. They are very self-sufficient, so they're going to give themselves key. He gives them additional key with his passive, and they have a two key link skill with legendary power. Um, and this guy over here. So, I mean, I think the Great Saiyan Man Super Saiyan 2 will probably be the best one for him to run on a team with, because he is physical. Um, and that's probably something you're going to want to run on a mono-physical team. Um, and or the LR Goten and Trunks, if you're doing a, a, an actual team with him as a leader. Because they will at least, these guys are at least self-sufficient, so they'll be getting, giving themselves a bunch of key with their passive. What is it, like between two key plus three to nine randomly at the start of the turn. So they're getting at least three key, plus they have two key linked, plus they're four, so they have what? Between that, they're getting, they'll at least be three key away from getting an ultra super attack or a mega colossal damage. Uh, minimum and that's if they only get the, that's only if they get the three key on their passive so i mean these three are probably gonna be the best way to look at uh the, a team building for him if you're looking to do anything special uh let's go over here real quick and just take a look to see how these guys link together uh so yeah i mean these two share two link skills as well so they are what shocking sweet shattering limit so that's four key i mean honestly it's not gonna be that fantastic but yep uh in my opinion this is what is going to be your best linking guy or best linking buddies for him outside of that he's just really meant for support so there's nothing else to really say about that. Run him on a mono physical super team. Run him on a mono hero team. If you don't have a hero leader like I don't, I will be running him as a leader. I'll probably be running one of these two uh, on team with him just so that way that I could have um, a good linking buddy available. I guess I'll have to see which one does more damage, but chances are I'll end up running the LR Goten and Trunks just because it's an LR. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let me know what you guys think and who would you be running. And everyone who I talked about, or if I missed something, what would you run alongside of him? Or how, you, how are you guys using this unit? But anyway, guys, again, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.